Now, what I'm going to show you next is the low pass filter. A low pass filter is basically low to pass. Like it's basically bringing down the amplitude of all the highs so that really just the bass is, you know what I'm saying, pulling through this, this filter or this EQ. Now, the reason you would do this is like say you're doing something that's like a really low sound as far as like a bass or like or a really low kick drum or something and you know just to leave room for things that may require more high frequencies you can add a low, a low pass filter by turning this on this LPF I can actually change the frequency right and by using the Q I can change the slope so now, if I bring it around here, this is kind of basically splitting the whole thing in half. So now everything that's in my lower part of my EQ is going to go through the screen, and everything that's kind of up here at the top is kind of going to get cut off. When, this is very important for like drums and things like that because it leaves room for other instruments. Other instruments are going to need a lot of room in order to like not have a mix be too busy. You know what I'm saying? This is a very... like useful technique for freeing up space as far as like different frequencies and and just leaving leaving room for effects and things like that